Uh, so it's Pasha's Bishalach, and uh, we have the uh, Nais of Kriyas Yamsov, with the Psukim of Kriyas Yamsov are very difficult to understand, as you will see, and it's Kedai to have a Chumash in front of you. Uh, first it says, first it says, Vayoy Ma'ashem El Moshe, Ma Titzak Eli, Daber El Bnei Yisroel Vigi So. Vato Horeim es matcho, uneteas yotcho al hayom, uve ko ehu, viovoyu bene Yisrael besoy hayam biaboshe. So in the Tsivoy, it says that they will come besoy hayam biaboshe. And then a few psukim later, when it actually happens, it says, Vayovoyu bene Yisrael besoy hayam biaboshe. So what's the meaning of Besoich Hayam Biabosha? Were they Besoich Hayam or were they Biabosha? So the Ibn Ezra in the in the Pirush HaOroch of the Ibn Ezra, as you know in Chumash Shemois, there are two Ibn Ezra's in the Pirush HaOroch, he says V'tam Besoich Hayam Why does it say Besoich Hayam? HaMokim Sheho Yoshom Yam B'Tchilas Alaylo so when it says that they came besoich hayam biabosha, it means that besoich what was once yam betchilas alayla, but now when they entered, they were entering in yabosha. However, further on in pasuk choftes, it says uvenei yisrael holchu biabosha besoich hayam. So the Pasek changed over here, the Loshan, from the two previous Pesukim. And over here it says that they came So uh, why did the Torah change over here, the Loshan, to Biyabosho B'Soychayam? Besides for that, we have to understand Bechlal, it seems to be repetitious. Because it already said in Pasik Chav Beis, it already stated the fact that they came b'soy chayam b'yabosho v'hamayim lohem choyma. So that already said in Pasik Chav Beis. We described what happened. So what's this Pasik Chav test telling me? Uvenei Yisrael holchu b'yabosho b'soy chayam. B'chal the Pasik is l'choyre meyuter. And there's another question, because before this Pasik, before Pasik Chavtes, before Pasik Chavtes, in Pasik Chavav, it says, Vayoy me Hashem el Moshe, netei es yodcho al hayam, v'yoshuvu hamayim al Mitzrayim, al richboi v'al paroshev. So he's being told already to bring the water back. And then it says, Vayet Moshe es Yodoi al Hayam, Vayoshev Hayam Lifnois Boike Lee Sonoi, Umitzrayim Nosim Likrosoi, Vayinai Hashem es Mitzrayim Besoy Hayam. So it's back Yam. Vayoshuvu Hamayim, Vayechasu es Arechev es Aparoshim Lucholchel Pari Haboy Machrem Bayam. So we're now holding after the Yamsuf became a Yam again. And the Egyptians drowned in the water. So what's the what's the pshat that in Pasik Chavtes the Pasik says? I mean, this is something that happened before the yam was returned into being a yam, and we already now said that the yam is back into being a yam, and the Mitzrim drowned. So why is the Pasik Bechal saying over here that Bnei Yisrael so this also is Meyushev according to the Ibn Ezra in the Pirish HaKotzar, who says in Pasik Choftes, says in Pasik Choftes, V'tam lahazkir uvenei Yisrael holchu biyabosho pam sheinis. Why Bechlal does it say a second time? Sh'osa Hashem pela betoich pela. Ki ze oivre biyabosho v'ze toiveya. That there was a point where Egyptians were drowning and the Jews were crossing at the same time. That's the Pela Besoich Pela that this Pasik is referring to. They were next to each other in one yam. 
he's and and why am I saying that Jews were still in the Yam Bishas, the Yam returned into being a Yam? He says, Ki Yisrael Hoyu Rabim, there were many Jews. The Yesh Rabim Mehem Shekvar Ovru, the Ace Tibua Mitzrim. There were many that already crossed. However, the Yesh Mehem Shehoyu Oz Oivrim. There were those that were just crossing now. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, there was just a, the, somebody wants to say something. No, okay. So, so in other words, according to the Ibn Ezra, it comes out that this pasuk is not a chazorah; it's not a repetition it's on what it already said. Before. I think I'm not more than one thing. He always his out. It's a separate Indian, and it's also mavur. The say they have hapsukim. I asked you how how come this pasuk is. It appears after it says that Moshe already was noites yodai and the yam came back. The text says yes, it's so that after Moshe was vayet Moshe es yodai vayoshe vayam lefnois boikel leisonai and the mitzvim were drowning. After that, ubnei Yisrael hocha be'aboshu v'sechayam v'amayim lemchemim mi'minim mismoylam when the yam was already back into being a yam. And that also explains Lachara why in this Pasik, Pasik Khaftes, it says Besoy Chayam Biabosha, as opposed to what it said earlier, Besoy Biabosha Besoy Chayam. Because even as you explained that in, in Lachatchila it says Besoy Chayam Biabosha means what was Yam became Yabosha. What was Yam Betchila Salailo, they went Betoy Chayam, and now they were going Biabosha. That was the beginning of the process. But here now, after the yam became back a yam, it says that they were going be abosha b'soy chayam, because now it's taka a yam again, and they're going be abosha in the yam. So that explains the repetition, and it explains where this pasuk appears, and it explains why over here, why over here it doesn't say. Like it says in the beginning, but over here it says because we're dealing over here with a situation where it's back into being a yam and they're walking. Okay, now in the end of the Shira Sayam, we say in Tesvov Yutes, we say so here again, we, we, we say first that the Mitzvah are drowning. We're saying that So we put the Mitzvah, the drowning of the Mitzvah before the crossing of the Eden. And over here it also says, which, which all works out with what we said. The Ibn Ezra on this Pasuk says, Gam zeha posuk me hashiro. This is a big argument, whether the, this Pasuk that appears after the Hashem yimloich lo'olam voe, this Pasuk kivo sus pari berich boi'ufaroshov, is this part of the shiro, this is what they were saying, or this is the Torah reporting that kivo sus pari. So the Ibn Ezra says, Gam zeha posuk me hashiro, that the Rabbi Shalom is uh, he, he, he's, uh, it's appropriate to make him our king. So this is the Ibn Ezra Lashitosai. That that this was happening at the same time, and that's a pella b'seich pella, and that's that's the hemshich to Hashem yimloich loy l'mvoy teyo isloy hamaluche because he did a pella b'seich pella. The Ramban disagrees with the Ibn Ezra. He says Omar Rabbi Avram shigam ze min hashira that this pasuk of kivosus para is part of the shira. Says the Ramban. In the name of the Ibn Ezra, Ki Hoyu Oz Mishoyrim Vaimrim Kivosus Pare Berich Boy of Farosh of Bayom, by Yoshiva Shemas Alem is Meayom Boy, Bene Yisrael Holchim Beabosho Besoichayam, Vuneis Betoichnes. However, says the Ramban, 
ואיננו בלושן השירויס והנבויס. The Ramban says, if you're sensitive to biblical language, you know that this pasuk ivosus pari does not sound like it's part of the shira at all. This sounds like a loshen hakosim. Avol pirush oz yoshin moishe ki vosus pari. That when it was vosus pari, that's when this whole shira took place. It's the Torah reporting. By yoy mahu miyad loy miyoy ma mochras ayachri ke oy taimoy oz, or you can say a, a, a different knech which is closer to the Ibn Ezra. So, the Ibn Ezra, the, I mean, I'm saying the Ramban just argues with the Ibn Ezra on whether or not this Pasik is part of the Shira or not part of the Shira. But as far as the reading of this Pasik, that it means that Mitzrayim were drowning and Hidden were crossing at the same time. And there was a Pela Besoich Pela that, uh, that came to be over here. The Ramban agrees with the Ibn Ezra. So uh, whatever we said according to Ibn Ezra in terms of explaining the Kfeilus of the Psukim and the change from Besoich Hayam Biabosho to Biabosho Besoich Hayam, it all works for the Ramban also. However, there's a question here that in the original Tzivoy, HaKadosh Baruch Hu says to Moshe, Unetei asyotcha al hayam uvekoehu, v'yavoyu b'nei Yisrael b'soich hayam b'yabosh. So it would seem that all the Jews will come b'soich hayam b'yabosh. According to the Ibn Ezra, it, 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 they didn't all come b'soich hayam b'yabosh. Only some of the Jews came to say, hey, and the other ones, the other ones. So the, the question is, I'm asking, in the Tzivu, it says, and as the Ibn Ezra is saying, they will come in what was Yam, and they will come be Abosha. That was only true, according to the Ibn Ezra, as far as some of the Jews were concerned, because there were those that actually didn't make it fast enough, and, and about them, it says later that it was it was already back yam. So why in the tzivui is it mashma that everybody is going to be v'yavoyu? So I want to say Pashib Shad that in the v'yavoyu, in the original coming into the yam, so everybody was b'soich, what was the yam coming into the yabosha? Some of them didn't make it to the end before it was transformed back into a yam. And there it says, it doesn't say v'yavoyu. Over there it says, holchu b'yabosha b'soich hayam. So the holchu of some of the Jews was b'yabosha b'soich hayam, meaning that the yam already became back a yam, and they were being hoylech. But as far as the v'yavoyu, as far as the entering the yam, it was equal for all of them that they all entered in what was once a yam and what was now yabosha. Later on, as they were holchu, some of them were be yabosha b'soichayam. Okay. There's still a question over here. According to these, uh, to the Ramban and the Ibn Ezra, it comes out that this nest of pela b'soich pela that there were Egyptians drowning and Yidin crossing at the same time, wasn't told to Moshe Rabbeinu originally, and it wasn't even hinted to Moshe Rabbeinu when he was told to be by Kea the Yamsuf. The Ramban and Seif Pashas boy says that there's a special Mila in a, in a Moifis that comes with a, that's Nigzat Chilom Epinavi. And over here it comes out that this is something that was somehow happened but there's no mention of it and no remise to it in the original Tzivui where Moshe Rabbeinu was told to split the sea. You know, in the Mechilte, on the Posik, Vayoshuvu Hamayim Vayichasu Es Harechef. It says in the Mechilte like this, Kivosus paroi berichboi uvifaroshu vayom vayoshev Hashem aleyem esmei hayom Vohoyu malachi ashore istmehim the Malachi Ashores were wondering, Loimar, Bnei Adam, Oivdim Avoy Dezorim, Mahalchim Biyabosh Yabosh 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 Yabosh
I mean, is it, is it, 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 it do they deserve this miracle? Uminayan continues the Mechilte. Sha'af Hayam Nismale Alehem Chemo that the Yam got angry at the Eden. Shanema Vahamaim Lohem Choimo. It says without a vov, it says Choser, it says Chesmem, hey. Says the Mechilte, Al Tikri Choimo Elochemo. Okay, now the Mechilte says that the Malachi Ashuris were wondering about the Oivde Avoidazora. That a mahalchin be a bosh of a soichayam. So it would seem that their wonder was only about those yidin that were going be a bosh of a soichayam, meaning the yidin that were still in the yamsuf while it became back into a yam, according to the Ibn Ezra's interpretation. And about the those that were going be soichayam be a bosh of the yam didn't have tightness. And I tell you, it's mefurish because. The drosha of al tikri choima elo choima is shayach the pasuk chavtes, where it says bnei yisrael hocha biabashu b'soich hayam v'amayim lahem choima miyaminim u'misboilam. Over there it says choima with adavov, but in the earlier pasuk in pasuk chav beis where it says vayovoyu bnei yisrael b'soich hayam biabashu v'amayim lahem choima miyaminim u'misboilam. It says choima with adavov. So it's clear that the taina of the yam, the anger of the yam, and the tmi of the yam was only this order, legabe those yidin that were crossing by yabosha b'soy chayam, when the yam was already back into a yam. But it wasn't about those that were crossing in the beginning. Why is that? Why is that? They were all like the Okay, you know, that in the beginning of the parsha it says, "Va'omar paroi levnei Yisrael, nevuchim hein ba'oret soga aleim amidbar." So, what does it mean? He said, "Levnei Yisrael." The Targum Onkelos says, "Ve'yemar paroi al bnei Yisrael." It's not that he said to the bnei Yisrael; he said about the bnei Yisrael. So, also Rashi says, "Levnei Yisrael al bnei Yisrael." V'chein Hashem yilochem lochem, which means aleichem, or imri. Li Achihu means Imri Olai. No, it has to be that way because the Yidin at this point were already Lifnei Piachirois. They weren't anywhere close to Paris Palace that he was able to talk to them, right? They were Lifnei Piachirois, Ben Miglo Ben Ayom. So he couldn't be talking to them. And in the Sefer of the Pasuk, it says, Nevoichim Heim Ba'aret, Sogar Aleim Amidbar. So Aleihem, the Midbar closed on them. So Obviously, he's not talking to them. He's talking about them. So, Lechari, you have to read the Lev in Yisrael, as the Targum says, and as Rashi says, that Lev in Yisrael means about the Bnei Yisrael. However, in the Targum Yonisum Ben Uzil, it says, V'yemar paroi l'doson v'aviram dimishtairim b'mitzrayim. And he said to them, Metorfin inu nama Bnei Yisrael. <laughs> Don't you know? The Midbar closed in on them. But who's he was talking living in Israel according to the Tiger Minister of Brazil? He was talking to Dosan Vaviram. Dosan Vaviram didn't do, join the Jews, they stayed behind him at Shrayim. And now Pare was communicating with Dosan Vaviram. So he's learning the Le Kipshuta, two. But who's the two? It's two Dosan Vavir. No, so we see that what that Dosan Vaviram stayed behind in Mitzrayim. They didn't want to leave. But nevertheless. We, we know that they did leave because in the parish of Hamon, further on in this week's parish, it says, Rashi says, And it comes from the Shmois Rabbo that says, Amr Rabshim ben Lokish, Elu Dosan Vaviram, Nema Kan Anoshim, Venema Lahalon, in parish of Koirach. It's a suru no me al ohole ho anoshim, ma anoshim shenemru la halon dosum aviram, anoshim shenemru kan dosum aviram. And over there, any, in any case, whether there's room to, to, to argue about who the anoshim of the Parshas Hamon are, but in Parshas Koirach, it says, Mephorish, Vayikroi, Vayishlach Moshe, Likroi, Ludosum aviram, Vayimru loinale. And they're the anoshim. 
of 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 that it says in Parsha Shemois, by Yitzim by Yemasheni, by Hinish Nei Anoshim Ivrim Nitzim by Yemel Rosh Hashanah Masakari Yecha Rashi says Shnei Anoshim Ivrim Dosim Vaviram Hem Shoi Sirum and Amon. In any case, we 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 find Dosim Vaviram with the Yidden in the Midbar. So how they get there? I mean, if they didn't cross the Yamsuf and they were communicating with Paroi, uh, Paroi said to to to, to Dosim Vaviram Nevoichim Hem Bar Et Soga Aleim Amidbar. So how 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 are they later with the with the Eden in the midbar? Rashi Rashi says in 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 by the Makas Choishech in Kapitel Yud Pasuk Chav Beis by Yehi Choishech Afelo. Rashi says Velama Hevi Aleihem Choishech Shehoyu be Yisrael Baisei Adoy Rishoyim Velo Yehoyu Roitzim Lotzeis Umeisu B'Shloishim Afelo Kedei Shel Yiru Mitzrayim B'Mapolosam. Ah, so we see that those that didn't want to leave, Akadosh Baruch Hu killed them during the Shlosh Yisim Afela. No, Dosim Vaviram definitely qualify for the title Rishon, and uh, we see they didn't want to leave. And not only that, originally they didn't want to leave. Even after they left, they wanted to go back, as we see in the Parshas Amiraglim. Vayoimer, Vayoimru ish el ochiv nitno roish vina shuva mitzrayma. The Medrash says in Shema Yisraba Perik Aleph that ish el ochiv is dosan and avira. So they didn't want to leave. And if to somehow they left and we don't know how, they want to go back. And so, so, so why didn't they die in the Shlash Simea Fela? But Emma's, this question appears in the Daz of Kenim Ibali Artoisis. You know, in the Moshe of the Kenim Ibali Atos, in the beginning of Parshas Korach, that he wonders why the Dosim Aviram didn't die in Mitzrayim. Now, there's a medrash in the end of Parshas Shmois that says like this: Vayuku Shoytre Bnei Yisrael on the pasuk Vayuku Shoytre Bnei Yisrael. State in the medrash Bezalos Mikan Atolomit Shehoyu Ksherin Mikan Atolomit Shehoyu Ksherin. Umasru Atzman al Yisro, that the Shoitre Bnei Yisro were Ksherin, and they were Moisa Nefesh al Yisro, the Savlu Makois, Kedei Lohokal al Me'alein. They themselves took lashes in order to be Mekel al Bnei Yisro, the Lofichoch Zochu the Ruach HaKoydish. Shenema, it says in Parashat Baloisicho, Esfoli Shivim Ish Mi Zikne Yisro, and the safer of that Posik is. Asher yodati ki heim zikne ha'om v'shoytrov. The Medrash is saying that these are the shoytrim from Parsha Shemois, who became eventually the Shivim's Kenim. Omer HaKadosh Baruch Hu, heim loku aleyem, l'fichoch yizku l'ruach ha'kodesh v'nismanu nevid. Etc. Then it says like this, Ba Moshe mi Midian v'ahar mi Mitzrayim. Moshe came from Midian, v'ahar came from Mitzrayim, v'pogu bahem. Shoytre Yisroch Shem Yoytzim Lufnei Paren. They met them. Ma'u Nitzavim. It says, Vayivgu es Moshe v'saharin Nitzavim l'krosam. Omru Rabbi Seinu Zal, Doson v'aviram hoyu imohen. Shenemar. It says in Parash Yishlach, V'doson v'aviram yotzu Nitzavim. Yishchilu mecharfen u'megatfen klapei Moshe. And what did they say? Asher hivashtem esreichenu. What does it mean? Hivashtem esrechenu. You gave us a bad smell. Rabbi Yochanan and Oma men amakis shahoyu makin oisan hoyarechon mavish. Now it seems that these dosim vaviram were one of, were. It's not clear because the medrash says that dosim vaviram were with the shoychim, but then it says that they're saying that dosim vaviram are saying hivashtem esrechenu, and hivashtem esrechenu. The medrash explains. Means that we became, we developed a bad smell from these makis. So the Reb Shuleib Diskin in, in the Maril Diskin Altar in the beginning of Praj B'Shalach says about Dosim Aviram, he says like this Venera Yashiv, why Dosim Aviram got out of Mitzrayim? He says, Al Pitivri Ahmed Rishab, Praj Shema, he's the Mashma Shom, Shed Dosim Aviram, Hoyu Bain Ashoitrim. She mosru atzma al Yisro, v'savlu makis kedei lo hakol avoidim al bnei Yisro, u kedei isa shom b'divir Reb Yochanan 
they became the seventy, the seventies Canaan in Pashas Baloisakha. However, Dosan Vaviram were not on such a high madrega to become to become the Shivim's Kanim. But Dosan Vaviram Shaloizakul Mailas Ruha Kodish Nesha Hoyo Makharfin and Magatfin Bat Sai Samal Hashem Bal Moisha. Bechol Zois, says Yib Shulay, has chusazu, show you moistrim nafshom, the sovlu yisure aguf. Kedela hokelo avoide, ibne Israel, hoyo toilo lohem, shaloyo musu begimu yme afem. Ki ena kodesh borchum a kapeh schar kol birya, ala toif shaosa. And now he brings about the Indian of, of uh, Jewish solidarity and about caring about other Jews and how, and how, how meaningful that is. He says, "Ve'isa begemara Yevamis laf chov dalid Amar Reb Elaza Mai Kro." There's a pasuk in Yeshayin on dalid. Hein gor yogur efes me oisi mi gor itech olayich yipol. That we don't accept ger and be made David or be made Shloima, because as Rashi says, it's a very schwer pasuk. But Rashi says over there in in, in Yevamis, "Hein gor habole his gaye yogur." Efes me oisi, but oisha ain't ani mochem his guy. When could he become a gear when I'm not with you? The hainu bezman aze. Mi gor itoch alayich hipel, mi gor itoch ba'ana yusek. So, 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 a very important part of becoming a yid is identifying with the with Jewish suffering. So he says like this. So since. Since Dosan Aviram suffered for other Jews, he says, Because those Poshim may be strong that didn't want to leave, they were people that had it good. Those Jews died. But we still don't know. When did they cross the Yam? I mean, we understand why they didn't die, but they didn't leave. And they were communicating with Parai when the Yidin were at Kriyas Yamsov. So how in the world did they get out? So Rib Shulayb says like this: The Ef Shaloyma Shal Amira Shal Parei Ledosim Vaviram, according to the Tagim Yisrael Menizil, Hoya Rak LeTachlis She Yasu Ritzoy. Now, why did he Bechlal talk to Dosim Vaviram and tell them Nevuchem Hein Ba'Oret Sogal Leim Amid? But he wanted that they should go the fun of Lamachne Yisrael, Lahosis Oy Sam She Yeshuvu LeMitzrayim. He wanted them to go on a mission to convince the Jews to come back. He says they did it. Why did Claudius Shol say to Moshe right before Kriyas Yamsu? What did you do to us? That was Al Yedei Hasosa Shol Dosim Vavirim. Ukede Issa B'Shmois Rabbe Behini Shnei Anoshim Ivrim Nitzim Shehine In Dosim Vavirim Shehimru Al Hayam BeYamsu Behini Issa Shom BeMedish Tanchum VeHein Hein Shah Amru Nitna Roish VeNashuva Mitzrayim. So what happened now? So Dos and Vaviram were really cooperating with Pare. They went to call the Yidin back. But he says now, In the last moments, when they experienced Pare's hatred for Jews, when he was chasing after them, they turned around. Okay, so according to this, 
they did show at the last minute before Kriyas Yamsuf. They approached the Yam with Paroi as part of his camp. But the last minute, they had a change of heart. They did Shuva and they crossed the Yamsuf together with the rest of the Jews. This is what he says in Parashat B'Shalach. But in Parashat Shemois, Rav Shulay Diskin has a different mahal. He says, Uparoi hikrif, shehikrif b'nei Yisrael, shehem dosen avirim shoyu itoi berot foyes b'nei Yisrael. Ule besoiv kasherou, sheparoi v'chol cheiloi nitbu'u, b'yansuf. Oz, chazru l'moishu l'vnei Yisrael. That when did dosen v'avirim have a change of heart? When they saw the Mitzram drowning. Vishomati b'shem admurzal, this is a Talmud writing in the name of Rav Shualei, sheisa b'medrish shayam nikra l'fnei. That he heard that the Rebbe said that there's a medrash that says that there was a special Kriyas Yamsa for Dosan Bavir. Shayam Nikra Lufne. So, according to this medrash, it comes out that not only that Dosan Bavir was Zoiche, they crossed the Yamsa together with the rest of Claudius, but they had their own Kriyas Yamsa. So, 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 uh, after the Yam was Chosal Sonoi, and, and, and they, they were the Bene Yisro. That were holchu b'soy chayam b'yabosha. This is doson va'aviro. So lufize the psukim are very are very clear. In pasuk chav beis it says va'yovoyu bnei yisro b'soy chayam b'yabosha, and then it says in pasuk chav va'yoyme Hashem al Moshe and teyot chal ayam b'yoshuvu amayim al mitzrayim. In pasuk chav zayin it says va'yeth Moshe es yodei al ayam va'yoshu va'yam l'sme isboik al yisone. Then it says in pasuk chav chavs va'yoshuvu amayim va'yichasu es mitzrayim. And then it says in Pasuk of Tezu, B'nei Yisrael, Echubi Abosha B'Soy Chayam, because the Chathila we were talking about the Kriyas Yamsuf of the entire Klal Yisrael, which was before the Mitzrim drowned. But the later Pasuk is talking about the Kriyas Yamsuf of Dosim Vaviram, which was after the Yam already drowned the Mitzrim, and it covered Pari V'Kol Cheloi. And that's why in the first Pasuk it says, B'Soy Chayam B'Yabosha, which means, as the Ibn Ezra says, what was once a Yam, it's now Yabosha. However, in the later Pasuk it says, B'Yabosha B'Soy Chayam. Kidosan Vaviram are walking in what's Yam now, but they're walking Biabosha Basekhayam. And that's maybe why only in this last Pasik it says Choima without a Vav. And Chazal say that it's Chema, that the Yam was angry and didn't want to didn't want to do it. Because for Dosan Vaviram, actually, it was very questionable that they should deserve a Kriyas Yamsuf. So the Amayim Lohem Chema is over here. Now in the Be'er Mayim Chaim on the Pasik. Pasuk of Tes says, "Uvnei Yisrael holchol biabosha miut rabim shnayim." Says the son is on. He says, "Uvnei Yisrael holchol biabosha v'soy chayam." On the pasuk of Tes, miut rabim shnayim loy mekiyal shnayim Yisrael levad nikrayam v'heim dosan vaviram she amru razal she nisharu nikrayam aleim levad. Okay, now in the the Reb Shulay Diskin says that there's a medrash. That says that Dosim Aviram had their own Kriyas Yamsuf. However, the Magia already writes on the bottom that we don't have such a measure. But from the different from the Bemam Chaim, it sounds like he didn't even, he's not based on a measure. He's saying it misvara. He's teaching the Posik. And Mistama the Hechrich is because the Tagim Yunus of Seal says that they were still in Mitzrayim, uh, with Pari communicated with them. And later we find them in the mid, but so it must be that they had their own Kriyas Yamsuf. In any case, as I state in the Be'er Ma'im Chaim, I just want to tell you that there was in a certain magazine in Tavshin Samach Zayin, yeah, the Kulmus. There was a there was an article by somebody, Reb Shmuel Levin's son, who 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 finally found the source for this idea, which is in the Machzor Rav Pninim, which which has a Ivritaich, and over there there's a, a thing in Yiddish called Nisay Nisim for Shvi Shol Pesach. And over there it says, I don't know how much Yiddish you understand, but it says, Doson Unaviram, Hop Nitgevolt Aroy's game from Mitzrayim. Yeah, Doson Aviram didn't want to leave Mitzrayim. Vi Zay Hop Gizend, the Nissim Fun Yam, Zen and Zay Gikum and Sum Yam, Hot Got Gishpolten Dem Yam Nochamol, nor Fazayet Veg. So over there it says this, this Madrish that we don't, we can't find, it's in the Ivritaich of the Machzerav Pninim. But in any case, you see that the, the Bear Man Chaim said it without a measure. 
So, so, so this is really like an unbelievable thing because it tells you how much, I mean, uh, Jewish solidarity, how, how, how much that means. And even these Dasan Vaviram that appear over and over again as Rishoyim and, they, and, they, and they're arguing with Moshe Rabbeinu time and time again, but they were Zeichem, not only to, not, not to die in the Shlesh Yimei but they were Zeichem to have their own Kriyas Yamsuf just because they were Noise Ba'oil Imha Sibur. So that's obviously a very important lesson. And with that, with that, I wish you all a good Shabbos.